Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another important tutorial. Uh, this is a critical uh, vulnerability in Git and this is a security tutorial where I want to share you about this uh, highly critical Git vulnerability which allows a remote code execution. This is very new, newly identified, I think it's just a couple of days before. And if you are not sure about this uh, vulnerability, just have a look onto this uh, video and uh, see how this is impacted in your organization or in your machine or in your repository, uh, whichever way you are using Git uh, application. So I want to take you to the official uh, nvd.nist.gov uh, website where you will be able to see all the vulnerability details. You can see this is uh, pretty new into this uh, published one they like it just published on 14th of May so it's just like uh, six seven days before and you can see it's a uh, vulnerability in git uh, application itself so it's a as you know like Git is a version control system and I'm sure every developer or DevOps engineer will be using git uh, for pushing your code pulling your code cloning your repositories right so what it says like you know any git versions which are uh, before 2.45 to 44 uh, 40.2 you know 22.39.4 uh, uh, any versions of these uh, you know uh, git versions uh, this vulnerability is applicable and what this is uh, vulnerability is about so if you have repositories with sub modules and uh, this vulnerability can be crafted in a way that it exploits a bug in Git uh, where it can fool uh, writing the file into the not into the sub module but it can directly write into that git dot git directory uh, what is the reason uh, what is the impact of this because of that it will allow you know the writing uh, by allows writing a hook that will be executed while the clone operating is still running giving the user no opportunity to inspect the code uh, that is being executed so how to fix this the problem has been patched in version 2.41.1 uh, 2.41 all these versions you can see before the versions before this have this issue and also other cases like if you are not using symbolic link uh, like you know if you already disable the symbolic uh, link uh, into the git then this uh, attack is uh, won't work so uh, just to go to another uh, uh article like help net security these have you know quite a good information so uh, the vulnerability name is called cve20243002 and uh, this is uh, affecting the git uh, which is a widely popular uh, popular distributed version control system and the collaborative uh, software and uh, this is uh, you know uh, applicable on any operating system which is windows mac or linux or other various uh, bsd distributions so as I mentioned, it's a critical vulnerability which allows the Git uh, repository to submodule to trick the Git into writing the file into .git rather than writing into submodule. It will write into .git repository, which allow you know uh, the attacker uh, can prepare the local repository so look like a partial clone and missing an object. And you know the main uh, uh, impact is like because of this, they can execute uh, something remotely. So you can uh, run the remote code execution, which is uh, as per security you know, terminology, and they can take control of the system. Okay, so you can see how the fixes and you know different updates all this year. So I will uh, uh, put this information, and you can also see this uh, repository uh, safe buffer CVE 2024320002, which will show you how you can. Uh, do a proof of concept of how this uh, repository can take the remote code execution. So this uh, repository contains a proof of concept for CVE, uh, remote code execution RC vulnerability in Git submodules, and uh, the exploit demonstrate how a malicious payload can be triggered via a recursive clone of a Git. So even just Git clone of this uh, malicious repository, and uh, it can take over, you know the. Uh, your uh, repository and can run some ex code execution into it so this is a critical vulnerability so i would say like you know if you're not aware of this have a look into your uh, system what git version you are using if you are using any you know uh, enterprise uh, machines uh, if you are using git clones uh, and all those things just make sure that in your uh, organization you are up to date and uh, you have the fixes in place so you don't compromise on your system so it's a pretty, you know, 
simple video but I wanted to share the importance of this uh, vulnerability so you can make use of it share with your colleagues share with your uh, you know security team members if you are they're not aware and uh, get your system safe and uh, all your DevOps system whether you're running pipelines or definitely you're going to use different git clone and you will have your AMIs uh, you know where you will be having running uh, gits on the AMIs uh, where you will have to patch those machines as well your images you will have to pay, patch those things if you have docker images you have a git uh, commands embedded into it so you'll have to check which versions are running on those so you have to update so make sure that you update all the places where you're using git and uh, keep your system safe so thank you for watching and i hope this is a informative tutorial and uh, if you're new to my channel click on the subscribe button like my videos share uh, the content with others